In this video, I am going to demonstrate the easy and robust nature of the ANSYS Mechanical to Siemens NX geometry interface connection. In addition to bringing in basic geometry, ANSYS also can import all of the materials properties defined inside Siemens NX. Here we're setting a couple of materials to this model. And we're going to start up ANSYS Workbench and perform a quick analysis. Linking a static structural simulation to the NX geometry allows us to perform a simulation on this geometry. The project schematic you see in front of you allows you to set up a wide range of simulations from thermal, fluid dynamics, even electromagnetics analysis. The geometry using the native CAD interface is imported correctly. In addition, the material properties are also imported. We can check the material properties by going to engineering data, opening up our material libraries, and taking a look at, at the CAD materials. In addition to the CAD material models available in NX, ANSYS supports a wide range of more advanced material models, such as hyperelasticity, metal plasticity, even viscoelasticity. These can be Im implemented readily inside the ANSYS environment. With the geometry and material properties fully defined, we can easily and quickly set up an advanced nonlinear contact simulation. Here, we're going to model the insertion of a plug against the fixed base, and our values of interest are deformation and stress within the base. Because we're performing a nonlinear analysis, we're going to turn on large deflection and adjust the settings to ensure a fast and accurate solution. Now we can look at both the total deformation as well as the equivalent stress results and understand the behavior of our structure once it's loaded. Because ANSYS is connected to Siemens NX using a direct interface, any changes you make in Siemens NX can be readily updated and reflected in ANSYS. This means that to understand the effect of a design change, all we have to do is hit the solve button again, and the simulation will be updated based on the new geometry and rerun based on the original settings, including any contacts, mesh, loads, and supports. Results are updated automatically as well. Furthermore, in addition to geometry and the material properties, ANSYS can bring in any expressions defined using NX. These expressions are brought into ANSYS as design parameters. Flagging these geometry parameters as design parameters as well as defining output parameters means that for this simulation we have both input parameters and output parameters. With our parameters defined, we can perform a what-if study. In a what-if study, we're specifying changes in certain parameters and ANSYS will automatically run these design changes and report back on the result. Furthermore, ANSYS has a wide suite of tools for design exploration these include response surface optimization, direct optimization, and even Six Sigma analysis. I will leave this for a future video. Thank you for your interest in ANSYS and Siemens NX.